Welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. I am your host, Derek Fage. This is the home edition, of course. We are doing this uh, virtually from my home into yours. So thanks so much for joining us. We are going to start off with an amazing success story. I'm so proud to have her back on the show. Sheena Brady is the founder, and she is also a tea sommelier at Teas. Welcome to the show, Sheena. Great to have you back, and I want you to walk us back to those early days uh, where this all began, where, where, the birth of this idea. Where did it come from, Sheena? Yeah, it's so great to be back. Thanks so much, Derek. And uh, yeah, tea started way back in late 2013. And at the time, I was in my tiny condo in Toronto. And it was really this like creative escape from a demanding career in hospitality. And then flash forward shortly after that, I moved to Ottawa. And again, like the business was still really small and modest at the time. And actually, uh, I've shared this with you before, but you're the first person to actually invest in teas to, you know, to give it an opportunity to, to share what we do on TV. So thank you. I, I appreciate that and that was like so helpful uh, early on to be able to have other opportunities, you know, down down the road for media and PR. So it was great training for me in those days. But flash forward to where we are now, uh, you know, we have customers in over uh, thirty countries. We've since fully launched a brand new collection during the pandemic. We pivoted big time and changed our entire product collection. Um, and we've had some incredible milestones on the way. We've been on Dragon's Den. We've uh, most recently run the Ellen Show. We've had all kinds of you know fun stuff happen during our continued growth and success at it's just uh, amazing the growth from that from that very beginning and where you are now and how you've gone from tea to having a you know a whole new line of products so let's talk about yes. that you mentioned that these these innovations that you've that you've had and, and that's come about uh during the pandemic tell me about some of that those innovative new products yeah, absolutely. So as you know, because you've been following tea since practically day one, we were predominantly known as a loose sleeve tea company for many, many years. And then during the pandemic, what really happened is I stopped being my customer in a way. Like I I wanted my products to be more accessible and convenient without compromising the quality. And I found myself consuming this um, version of our blends formatted in these beautiful biodegradable compostable tea bags that we did exclusively for one client that paid for it because it's just easy. And I knew that the, 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 the product integrity was still there, the loose leaf within this biodegradable tea bag format. So during the pandemic, we completely relaunched exclusively to fully biodegradable and refillable tea collection. Um, and, you know, at Tease, it's always about, you know, taking time for yourself, connecting with yourself, having a moment to invest in your daily uh, health and wellness rituals. And so this is like you showed on the screen, it's fully biodegradable product, but the um, foil pack inside is fully biodegradable too. And you can purchase this separately wow. to refill your beautiful packaging. You never have to, to throw it out. And then we've since expanded into tea and botanical infused bath products as well, uh, and beauty products and, um, and, and so on again to complement those everyday rituals. Well, yeah, tell me more about the the, the bath and, and beauty products. So, so what types of products exactly? Yeah, so we partner with a, a Canadian manufacturer right here in Ottawa, actually. Uh, and so think of like, coconut chamomile infused bath soaks and earl gray infused body scrubs and matcha and peppermint oil infused clay masks so still using those beautiful core elements of teas but in some of your you know everyday uh, beauty products and rituals as well which i heard you like the bath soak or did you have a chance to try it yet in your new tub i have yes it's fat <laughs> okay, absolutely <good>. wonderful <laughs> i feel spoiled good. now i feel spoiled uh, i want to talk about your social impact mission because i know it's always been there um but i understand now it, it's really more intentional uh speak on that for us a little bit yeah, thanks for giving me a chance to talk about it. So, you know, we've always been investing in organizations dedicated to uh, uh, empowering women since our early days at Tease. But in 2019, we got a lot more intentional and we built our own sister organization called Founders Fund, which was really built because of my own challenges with my own entrepreneurial journey. Um, and I learned that many women, like we inherently share a lot of the similar challenges and roadblocks. And so um, Tease now donates a portion of proceeds from every order to our sister organization, Founders Fund, which invests in mentoring and and uh, funding opportunities for underrepresented women entrepreneurs across the country. And to date, we've basically helped contribute and raise over $150,000 in grant funding support and mentorship for over 500 women across the country. That's incredible. Tell us a little bit about, so what, what were some of those challenges and obstacles, Sheena, that, that you faced and that you wanted sure other women wouldn't have to go the, through some of the same things? 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if we look at the data alone, we know that I think it's it's actually unfortunately lowered during the pandemic, but less than 3% of all venture capital goes to women owned and led businesses, right? And so even though the founders that we represent are a little bit early stage at Founders Fund to go after venture capital, the, the point is that's just... Uh, the lack of support that exists from accessing capital to accessing mentorship to accessing resources. I like to say you can't Google what you don't know to Google in the first place. Um, so everything from like negotiating like term sheets with your banks to um, just finding, you know, um, resources to help export uh, your products into other countries and new markets. Um, you know, all of these things, you, you don't know what you don't know. And so Founders Fund is here to be that dot connector for women founders uh, on their journey. Um, so while navigating through all of this as well, I mean, the pandemic and supply chain issues and everything, you became a, a certified benefit corporation. I think I'm getting that yes. right. Can you can you explain? Yes. Can you explain what that is? Yeah, I'm so proud of that. Thanks for bringing it up. So we became a certified benefit corporation uh, less than a year ago. And long story short, that means that we meet the highest standards of verified environmental and social impact as a business. And so, um, you know, even though we're a small but growing business, we now meet the ranks of other certified B Corps that include like Ben and Jerry's, Patagonia, Allbirds, some really cool brands that are combining wow. um, pass, uh, impact uh, and profit into their business model. And so we're really, really proud to not only be a benefit corporation, but we're technically the first benefit corporation tea company in Canada, which is which is something we're very proud of. That that is absolutely incredible. Well, congratulations on all your success. Really appreciate you joining us today, Sheena. So excited to be back. Great to see you again, Derek. Thank you. <laughs> Great to see you as well. And and by the way, everybody, we did bring up that, you know, the the website on your screen. So if you're looking at, you know, trying to find something for beauty and bath or of course some delicious teas, visit the website.